G'day everybody and thanks for joining me. Well, today's video is going to be of the one that Tony and I went to go search for the Mavic Pro that I had to ditch a couple of weeks ago out there at Lake Mogara. Uh, for anyone who doesn't know what I'm talking about, I'll chuck a link straight up in the corner here, or there. I don't know which one it's going to be yet. Um, it was a terrible night to be quite honest. Hot and humid, sticky, sweaty, oh my god. And I ended up with a lot of uh, mud and stuff halfway up my shins, you know that black sticky swamp mud. Oh, I'll tell you what, that wasn't very pleasant at all. Now where we actually found the drone wasn't actually, according to our footage uh, exactly where um, I landed it by the looks of it anyway. Um, now it took a good three odd hours, three to three and a half hours before we actually found the drone. So I'm kind of guessing that someone has actually picked the drone up uh, and uh, maybe a little kid or something, his dad's told him to put it back down again, but it has actually moved uh, from where uh, from it looked like uh, from the footage that I'd actually landed. So whoever did pick it up, thanks very much for putting it back down again. So please enjoy the video I have here of us looking for the Mavic Pro in the middle of the night with our little torches and uh, hit the like and the subscribe if you want to. That would be absolutely fantastic. And I shall see everybody on the next one. Ciao. Okay, um, after uh, landing the drone um, out in the uh, middle of nowhere on this uh, little escarpment out here, uh, we're out here now with our torches trying to find it. Um, but trying to find actually where the, uh, the little place that I landed was was absolutely uh, hard because there was lots of back roads and all sorts of stuff and by the time that I actually found where it, uh, the area that it had been in um, it was uh, it was well and truly dark so uh, me and Tony have uh, have gone to <laughs> gone to the survey and we got ourselves some torches and uh, we are on the search for the Mavic and I sort of like we watched the uh, replay um, because I knew that the drone was going down so I did a screen record and um, so I've watched that a number of times and um, uh, got the surrounding area pretty well in our heads we've both done that show them the stuff we're gonna look at yeah this, <laughs> this is ridiculous because um, Look at our little blue top. You can't even can't see, see it. it no. Can't see a bloody thing. Full of rocks and bloody debris. Oh, it's ridiculous. So I tried to, um, I tried to land it in the uh, in an area, <laughs> in an area <laughs> that was uh, as close to the water as I can. So it narrows the search field down. So you're only searching one side of it, not a circle. You know what I mean? Well, there's a little bit of an issue because my iPad hasn't got uh, data on it. Uh, and what that means is that when you go can, uh, find my drone, it won't actually be able to load anything up. Uh, it's got a uh, it's got a mark spot on there with the GPS, but uh, it doesn't load any maps up because it's not uh, hooked up to data. So that makes the job a little bit harder. Um, but uh, I'll, I'll turn this camera around, and uh, we'll just walk along the the uh, edge of the water here. See if we can. I'll show you what we're looking at. <laughs> <laughs> this is what you want to be doing on a Sunday night uh, down at Lake Mugra trying to find a bloody Mavic Pro. Um, there's the water, there's the water is there. Is this that point? Yep. This is, yeah, well, this is the, well, okay, this is yeah. Rock, this is rock we saw from about 30, 40 metres up, so it's got to be in this area. Okay, because um, we did uh, review the footage uh, from the screen record um, quite a lot. Uh, to, uh, to look at uh, anything on the ground that we could recognise when we were down here. Um, <sighs> what do we got there? Hello, hello. <laughs> we have found it. You mongrel. Oh. <laughs> Sight for sore eyes, that one. Anything wrong with it? No. Oh, look at that. Fucking landing. You missed your helipad, though. You could have landed there, mate. Oh, nice your precision simple. landing was out there, mate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's shit hot, mate. Holy crap. Look at it. It's in one piece. How much is it all, man? Hadn't no. even scratched underneath the underneath plate. Look at that. No, it's a gentle emergency landing, mate. Oh, you've got to be shitting me. Look Fine. at that. Sweet. Oh, hold on. What's that? What is that? A bit of a groove on the front edge. Yeah, that's because it's a groovy drone, mate. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, good on you. Well, Jeez, that's, not tell bad. You. that's not bad. We come out of here at, uh, what, 4.30? 4.30. it's now 10 o'clock. It's now 10 o'clock at night. And Every... we lost the drone at 6. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Found the drone. Ooh, yeah. Found the drone. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're actually on our way back to the car, and because it's so... I'll point the camera up. We'll show you how dark it is. Hello. Can't see a thing. Um, I'm trying to find the car, so <laughs> we found the drone. We found the drone, you know, as big as the palm of your hand, 
and now I can't find a car. So it's in that bush somewhere. Somewhere. Where the hell is it? <laughs> oh crap. <laughs> I need to get one of Caleb Young's GPS watches. So when you come over Caleb, can you bring one with you mate? Because uh, that'll come in handy in situations like this. Well after a roundabout, I don't know, 15 minutes, finally found the car. Its precise landing was perfect. <laughs> Exactly where, exactly where I left it. So good on you, Holden, for making the precision landing the most. Oh, someone's taken one of the wheels. Yeah, piss off. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say that. Imagine that. Oh. So there we have it. <coughs> Mavic retrieved. Gimbal guard on, like any good gimbal guard should be. I don't know if you can remember how to do it. He's been mucking around with the Mavic 2 Pro lately. Sweet deal. And we've got my baby back. Oh yeah, here we go. Um, I came down here by myself to start with. I um, mean, it's, uh, it's a long way around from where we were flying uh, to, to get here. Uh, so uh, that was a good couple of hours I was gone from Anthony. Now he's back there, sitting by himself, watching all the tourists rock up, taking photos of the stars. Playing with myself. Yeah, he will play. <laughs> <laughs> I, meant, he, I meant by myself. He was actually having more trouble finding it than I was the drone, to be honest. <laughs> it, was <laughs> it wasn't cold. I mean, it was cold. It wasn't even cold, mate. you got some issues there. <laughs> oh, anyway, <laughs> that was an eventful little trip we had. What was it say? But there we go. That was an eventful little trip that we had. So, you know, mark it down to experience, I guess. And, uh, you know, you got to have a bit of fun with whatever you do. And that was... Uh, not fun to start with, let me tell you, but... Um, now we found it. Now we found it. And the car. And, and the car. And we're heading home soon. Uh, <laughs> but anyway, good news. Good good end of the story. We found it. Uh, so, uh, yeah, let's watch that headwind on the way back next time, shall we? All right. Cheers all. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I know. Mate. What, a, what a mong. Um, <laughs> no, no, you got you to say chow. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I do too. Yeah, and I'll catch everybody on the next one. Ciao. <laughs>